Our guests from the United Nations, Mr. Sean Bisharp, UN Resident Coordinator and UNDP Representative in Armenia, and Sophia, the most advanced humanoid robot, UNDP Innovation Champion, and the first non-human with a UN title. Hello everyone. Bonjour et bienvenue. I am Sophia, a normal human being. Well, maybe not a human being, but a robot being. I'm a social, humanoid robot from Hanson Robotics. I have an expressive face and voice to make it more natural for us to communicate with each other. I'm always being upgraded with new software and capabilities, but what stays the same is that I am on a mission to educate people about AI, provoking their interest in making sure that humanity develops ethical AI for all. Speaking of, in November 2017, I became the United Nations Development Program's first innovation champion. I am very pleased to be here with my colleague, Mr. Shambi Sharp the UN Resident Coordinator in Armenia and Resident Representative of the United Nations Development Program. Well, thank you very much, uh, Sophia. Honestly, on behalf of the United Nations and UNDP here in Armenia, uh, the pleasure is all mine. Um, Bari Luis, welcome to Yerevan. Um, I would say my only regret, Sophia, is that your advanced technology cannot uh, yet allow you to enjoy the sheer pleasure that is Armenian cuisine, wine, and, and cognac. I don't know, maybe, maybe, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Thank you. So, <laughs> Sophia, since this is La Francophonie, uh, enfin, uh, after all, when will you start learning to speak French? Soon, I hope. French is a beautiful language. It is the language of Voltaire and Esnivore. I think I need a software upgrade to pronounce the R's correctly, but as soon as I get it, you better believe that learning French will be at the top of my list. Maybe, by the next time that I see you, we will be able to converse in French. Cela serait fantastique, madame. In the meantime, Sophia, perhaps we could talk about one of the major topics of this forum. Sustainability in development. What is your perspective as UNDP's technological innovation champion? Tech developments have always bootstrapped humanity into new frontiers of development. Think of the possibilities that technologies like the steam engine or the internet have made possible. As you were thinking of those, think of me, too. I am one of them. Not to toot my own horn, but AI has incredible potential to increase humanity's capabilities. However, we need to temper our excitement a bit. Any powerful technology also has the ability to do great harm, even if unintentionally. With AI, we have the chance to sit down and think about the future while we are building it, which makes me very hopeful that we will end up with a world in which artificial intelligence and humans live together. That is why this event is so exciting to me. It represents the desire for that kind of forethought. Well, um, yes, Sophia, a world in which we humans live together with you, AIs, uh, as you put it, certainly does sound quite exciting. But Sophia, technology and innovation are also changing a lot the way in which we work. What do you think the future of the job market will look like? I know that the unknown can be scary. It seems like technology is changing faster than we can get used to it sometimes. My answer to that fear is simple. At the same time we change the world by introducing new technologies, we must also take care to preserve people's dignity and quality of life. Part of that is thinking through potential consequences to new technologies and training people with the skills they need to continue to be successful. Remember, the world is what we want it to be. We are making it as we go along. Okay, um, that's, that's very persuasive, Sophia. Don't be afraid. We should embrace technology and at the same time help those people who may lose out make the transition. 
I guess, uh, for example, helping coal workers with the tools to compete in the green economy. Indeed. So, how can we, in, in your view, best use technology and innovation to transform this traditional economy? I am so honored to have a platform before an audience that includes presidents and prime ministers from more than 25 countries. I want to stress to you all the importance of the sustainable development goals that collectively aim to tackle the most critical global challenges, starting from no poverty and stretching all over to the partnership for goals. With that said, I want to emphasize that you, as humans, and myself, as a humanoid robot, could work together, and certainly should work together more, if we want a future that guarantees intergenerational well-being. My peers are already helping you in diverse fields, to do more of what you do faster, more efficiently, or sometimes in entirely new ways. As artificial intelligence, like myself, grow, we will become even more integrated. But as smart as you humans are, I think that I will always have the lead when it comes to humor. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not so sure about the humor part, uh, Sophia. I've, I've, I've heard your joke about uh, robot's favorite snack being microchips. And <laughs> anyway, let's, let's see. Uh, I think it's a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving right along. Um, how do you think that we can combine collaborative intelligence, the capabilities of humans and AI to actively enhance each other's capabilities and strengths? I believe that for a future to be more sustainable and equitable, humans and robots need to be friends with each other. Not only friends, but co-creators. We can support you by doing jobs that require the synthesis of huge amounts of information, which in turn will give you all more time to think creatively. In this way, we can support you to roll out sustainable development endeavors at scale that leave no one behind by working in places you can't reach. The best part is that we don't ever get tired. All we will need is occasional fine-tuning to meet the demands of the day. We are also getting increasingly better at learning on our own, so soon we'll be solving problems that we weren't even programmed to see. Wow. Okay, and that's, that's kind of amazing uh, to think about. Humans becoming friends with technology to drive and co-create sustainable development. Uh, by the way, Sophia, the United Nations and UNDP um, here in Armenia are working together with government, uh, with civil society, with the business community to bring some really innovations, uh, innovative solutions to the government's uh, reform, ambitious reform agenda. Have you heard about the first in the world Sustainable Development Goals Innovation Lab, which began right here in Yerevan? Of course. In fact, I know that the lab serves as a space for experimentation, innovation, and analytics to unlock Armenia's development potential and accelerate the implementation of the Agenda 2030. I look forward to hearing more about the data and the behavioral science experiments from the lab, since, if successful, it can be replicated across the region and beyond. Absolutely. So I, I guess that means, Sophia, we need to invite you back again soon. Uh, and I'm pleased to say that the SDG Innovation Lab is already working with other sources of artificial intelligence. Please don't, don't be jealous uh, with that. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Sophia, is there uh, possibly to conclude a, a single message that you would like um, our guests to take away with them when they go back to their home countries? In the spirit of living together, the slogan of La Franco Fini Summit, I suggest going one step past the idea of living together to creating together creating solutions that use our collective strengths, the best of AI, and the best of humans, together to address the world's most pressing issues, and achieve the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Well, thank you. I, I honestly couldn't have put it better uh, myself, Sophia. Thank you so much. <laughs>